The first thing that we have to remember when thinking about Yom HaKippurim is the ninth of Tishrei, the day before Yom HaKippurim. It's clearly a mitzvah for anyone who's obligated to do the mitzvahs, men, women, young people, to eat as much as they possibly can on the eve of Yom HaKippurim. The Rosh says that the reason that the Torah wants us to eat on Erev Yom HaKippurim the night before, <coughs> the day before Yom HaKippurim, is to ensure that the Ta'anit, that the fasting of Yom HaKippurim does not cause us any physical damage. Rabbeinu Yona mentions three different reasons for eating Erev Yom Tov. Firstly, he says that Yom HaKippurim is, is kind of a Yom Tov in itself. But since fasting is obliged or obligatory on Yom HaKippurim, we don't eat on the day of Yom HaKippurim, but we eat on the day before Yom HaKippurim, and that's kind of, it's added on, right? The 9th of Tishrei and the 10th of Tishrei, two days that give you to the opportunity to fulfill the various obligations that cannot be fulfilled on the same day. The same day, of course, is the 10th of Tishrei, Yom HaKippurim. The second terence that he gives is that it derives from the simcha, from the joy that we have knowing that Yom HaKippurim is kind of a guarantee that our transgressions will be atoned for. Second reason. And the third reason is similar to what the Rosh has taught us. <coughs> it is important to eat on Erev Yom HaKippurim in order to ensure briyut haguf, that we will remain healthy and able to function throughout the entirety of Yom HaKippurim. So we see that Yom HaKippurim, the fasting on Yom HaKippurim, is not an act of self-flagellation. We're not trying to punish ourselves. Punishment is in the hands of heaven. God punishes when it is necessary. We don't punish ourselves. But as the Rambam says, in every fast is good for us because it creates a reflective attitude, a more thoughtful uh, uh, kind of situation, where for us, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, these things, being thoughtful and being introspective and considering our lot and what we have done are very important. And eating is not always something that enhances that kind of serious thinking. Uh, and therefore, it's important to eat on Arab Yom HaKippurim, just as it is important to refrain from eating, fasting on Yom HaKippurim itself. We're not allowed to eat, and we're not allowed to drink. You're not allowed to eat any amount of food. Any amount of food is also on Yom HaKippurim, food or drink, is prohibited on Yom HaKippurim, min ha -tongra. This is the position of Rabbi Yochanan against Reish Lokish in uh, the Gemara in Yuma. The Rambam also, in Hilchot Shvisha Shvishlasa Osor, Perik Beis Halacha Gimel, makes this, makes this point. And so we have to be careful. On Yom HaKippurim, even though we understand that punishment only comes if you eat a certain quantity of food, a certain amount of drink. Nevertheless, the smallest amount of food and drink is prohibited on Yom HaKippurim. So that Erev Yom HaKippurim, we're obliged to eat as though we were participating in a festival. Yom HaKippurim, is not simply a day 
when eating is unacceptable, but Yom HaKippurim is the day when it is prohibited min HaTorah from eating or drinking even the smallest amount of food. True, there is a shayu, there's a quantity that leads us to punishment, but less than that quantity is equally forbidden min HaTorah. So eat Erev Yom HaKippurim as though you're doing a mitzvah and refrain on Yom HaKippurim because that is in fact mitzvah the mitzvah of the day.